Isang magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Ngayon po ay December 16, 2022. Viernes. At kanina po ay nag-umpisa na po ang simbang gabi. Kahapon po ay meron pong mga ilang churches na nagkaroon ng anticipated simbang gabi. No? Pero ngayon po ay December 16. Simbang gabi simula ng Pasko, sabi ni Lucio San Pedro. At nine days na lang, Pasko na. Mabuhay po kayo. Welcome po sa The Stock Market Today. Ang ating share na balita ay tungkol sa Meralco. Bago lahat ako po si Benji Chidoro, isang retired bank officer na nagsimula mag-invest sa Philippine Stock Market noong 2007. Araw-araw ko po minabalita ang pinaka-latest news tungkol sa inyong paborito at pinaka-aktibong stock sa Philippine market. Kung gusto niyo po ng content, niimbitahan ko po kayo mag-subscribe sa akin channel. Kung meron po kayong stocks na gustong ipareview using technical analysis o may mga tanong tungkol sa Philippine stock market o tungkol sa wealth management, i-comment nyo lang po sa comment box at aking pa-prioritize. Hindi po ako financial advisor. Ang mga sinasabi ko po dito ay hindi po dapat uh, i-take as financial advice. Get well soon, Mari. We're praying for your recovery. Huwag kayong alis dahil babahagi ko sa inyo ang ating financial headlines at ang resulta ng trading sa ating PSE ngayong araw. December 16, 2022, dito lamang sa The Stock Market Today. At ang ating balita ay tungkol muli sa Meralco. Pero bago po yan, ang ating headlines po muna. BSP raises rates by 50 basis points. Ito po yung headline ng Philippine Star. No? Pero anticipated lang po yan ng market. Eh. So minamatch lang po niya yung basis points or yung pagtaas ng Fed. At uh, kung magbababa ng interest rates ang Fed, magbababa din si BSP. Kasi mukhang nagte-temper na o nagko-cool off na, na po yung pagtaas ng presyo ng bilihin sa US. At sana po ganun din ang mangyari sa atin. So, ang sabi po dito sa S uh, summary, for its inflation outlook, BSP maintained its 2022 estimate of 5.8%. Number two, raised its 2023 forecast from 4.3% to 4.5% due to upside risk to inflation stemming from higher global food prices and elevated fertilizer prices and supply chain disruption. And three, lowered its 2024 projection from 3. Point, or 2024 projection from 3.1 to 2.8 as it expects oil prices to ease and the preso to appreciate with a slightly lower domestic growth. Okay, remittance rise 3.5% year on year in October. House approves Maharlika Fund bill and then Ali to develop 83 hectare Bulacan estate. MER secures 300 megawatts supply from AP. Ito po ang ating main news. ICT expanding capacity of Mexico port and air first to decline as fuel surge charge drop. So ito po ang ating main news from the business world but I'll be reading the summary from BDO Securities. Ano? Mer secures 300 megawatt supply from Aboitis Power. Mer has executed an emergency power supply agreement with AP-controlled GN Power Ding Dingin to supply 300 megawatts at a price of 596 per kilowatt hour from December 15 to January 25, 2023. The EPSA partially replaces the 670 megawatt supply deal with SMC, which was subjected to a 60-day temporary restraining order by the Court of Appeals. Mer said the company exhausts all measures to continue supplying its customers with sufficient and reliable power while mitigating the impact of the TRO on its customers. So ang commentary po dito ni BDOSEC, the EPSA is profit neutral to Mer 
given that the company is mainly a power distributor. On the other hand, we think that the EPSA for AP is attractively priced given that it is above the 4.62 kilowatt hour ASP of AP supply contracts. We have a buy rating on AP with a target price of 45 pesos. Okay, so ayang, yan po ang ating main news. And so, tignan na po natin ang nangyari sa Philippine Stock Exchange Index. All right. Ang ating index ay bumaba ng 70.3 points or nasa 6496.50 mukhang profit taking po siya dahil Friday is usually a profit taking day in the PSE so that's 1.07% down samantala ang ating market activity siyam na put siyam na kumpanya ang bumaba uh, diwan put or anima put lima ang umbante at apat na po ang hindi nagbago. Ang all share index ay bumaba din ng 0.9%. At ang ating sectoral indices, lahat ay bumaba except industrials. No? 0.13% ang itinas ng industrials. Ang nanguna sa pagbaba ay ang mining sa 2.24%. Ang most active stocks, Ali, BDO, SMPH, ASEN, and ICT. Samantalang ang nickel ay bumaba ng 5.27%. So, tingnan po natin ang top 6. Ali, BDO, SMPH, ASEN, and ICT. Okay, si Ali muna. Yan, just moving sideways si Ali. Although meron po siyang volume dito, Nakikita niyo po dito, ito po yung consolidation, no? Or nagpo-pullback po siya kasi nag-breakout po siya dito. But right now, it's pulling back at yung previous, uh, actually, this is resistance, ano? Yung resistance po niya, nandito, na dating support, ay nasa 29.88, no? At, uh, yung ating support ni Ali nandito po naman sa 27.24 now fundamentally Ali is a good stock it's an index stock owned by Ayala Corporation or Ayala meron po siyang buy rating with a target price of 38 pesos that's a 31% upside next we have BDO si BDO Laki ng bagsak ni BDO. Ang gandang bumili. Masarap bumili ng BDO. Dahil very cheap po siya. Ang ating RSI nasa 47, just below the midpoint. Ang resistance nandito po sa area ng to, no? 112 to 113. Samantalang ito po ay support area na po, no? Kay BDO nasa 108. 66 ang pinaka support area po niya dahil meron po tayong resistance level dito na ngayon ay masasabi nating support at uh, kamakailan lang nagbigay po siya ng stock dividend na 20% at nagbigay po ng quarterly dividend niya na 30 centavos maganda po si BDO dahil ito po ay leader in the financial sector at mahusay po ang management nito it is the largest bank in the Philippines in terms of assets, in terms of branch network, and the management team is very good. Then po, after BDO, let's take a look at SMPH. Kasi kung ako may, meron na kung extra cash, I will buy BDO. Si SMPH, bumaba din siya, ha? At it's approaching... Actually, mid-level, nasa 43 po yung RSI. At uh, yung ating indicators just moving sideways. But the support, nasa support level na po itong si SM Prime. Ano? At uh, it had an oversold level noong September 30. But it 
didn't reach the overbought yet, ano? Pero ngayon ay mukhang sideways to bearish. Support ay nasa 3390 to 34 and resistance malapit po dito sa 3633. SM Prime, ang fundamentals po niya is nandito, meron po siyang buy rating uh, and the target price is 34.70 no the target price is at 40 pesos or a 15.3% upside and then ASIN si ASIN ay okay bullish po si ASIN although this is a red candlestick nag overbought level na po siya dito meaning that the RSI is uh, more than 70 at uh, konti ingat lang po tayo baka magkaroon po ng reversal I think nangyayari na po yung reversal here no and if you bought at this level here March 27 March 29 30 and October 3 ay napakababa po ng level ni Asa na sa 570 lang po siya ngayon ay nasa 740 now if you bought at that over oversold level ngayon po and you held on to it until today or you disposed it on December 7 overbought po ito or December 6 um, ito po nag gain po kayo ng 37.70 or 2.09 pesos per share gross no? the less you pa po yung commissions dyan. at ngayon ay mukhang nagsa sideways si ASEN although it's still bullish pagkatapos naman si ICT si ICT ay nag gain today nag open po siya nag open po siya at a lower level but it regained ano, nag, nag, nag gain po siya ng 1 peso nasa 205 po siya yesterday's closing was at 204 so green candlestick po siya because yung opening price po niya is, uh, was lower and it ended higher and higher than the closing price yesterday. Ngayon yung ating support nandito sa 205 samantalang ang pinaka resistance po natin ay makikita po natin dito sa level na ito na sa 189 to 100 90. Now, fundamentally, ICT ay merong buy rating with a target price of 279 or 36.8% based on yesterday's prices. Finally, we have TEL. Si TEL ay, uy, nakaka-overbought lang niya nung isang araw. Ito, November 29, pero bumababa po siya. And it's really very attractive right now no? um, antayin lang na, natin na bumaba pa ng konti ito and I find actually the resistance I see it here pero yung lower resistance po nandito eh nasa 1427 so antayin nyo pong bumaba pa sa 1427 at mag oversold po ito pagka nag oversold po yan it's the time to buy so 1427 1426 Whereabouts within that area ay pwede na po kayong bumili dahil hindi, hindi po dapat kayo kabahan sa TEL because TEL is a very good stock. Ngayon, yan po ang pinaka-resistance or support po niya and the nearest and the higher resistance, I see it here at 1736. So very good po si TEL ngayon na nagbumura po siya, no? So, PLDT, meron po siyang buy rating, target price is 2,065 or 34% upside. Okay, yan po ang ating report sa stock market. Ikalabing anim ng Disyembre simbang gabi, simula ng Pasko, sabi ni Lucio San Pedro. Ito po si Benji Chodoro, nagpapaalala, investment in knowledge. Pays the best interest. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagsubaybay. Hanggang sa muli, stay safe, God bless, 
happy weekend bye for now